everyone, and welcome back to The Breakdown. You all have been asking for it, and World Edit has finally updated to Minecraft 1.18. Dot one. You heard that right. You can now get World Edit and Minecraft 1.18.1 and start using those awesome new world heights with your World Edit builds. Freaking amazing. In this video, we're going to show you how to download, install, and set up World Edit. All of it's going to be covered from downloading World Edit to downloading the mod loader, Forge to install it, and even how to fix some of the issues you can have when you're getting World Edit. We do tons of awesome tutorials like this, by the way, so be sure to subscribe to the channel for more incredible Minecraft content every single day. A lot of times, multiple videos per day. First and most, though, we do have to keep the lights on here and keep making these awesome tutorials for you. So with that, this video is brought to you by Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown, .xyz slash Apex, to get an incredible Minecraft server that you can run World Edit on, or any other plugin you want or any other Minecraft mods you want or you can just have an L server. It's up to you. All at Apex Minecraft Hosting. We actually love and trust them so much that we host our own server. Play at breakdowncraft.com on Apex Minecraft Hosting. That's the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless though, you're not here to get a Minecraft server. You are here to get world in it. Let's go ahead and get it installed. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below. And that's going to take you here. This is actually our text to tutorial for getting world edit in Minecraft single player. However, I do know this is 1.17.1 here. Well, that's because the tutorial you're watching right now hasn't come out yet. When it comes out, it or replace this one, so don't worry about that. Nevertheless, once you're here, go ahead and scroll down and click on this green download World Edit button. When you click on that, it's going to take you to World Edit's official download page on CurseForge. Come over here to the right hand side and scroll down until you see a Minecraft 1.18, and then under that specifically, you see a World Edit. Forge slash fabric for MC 1.18.1. World Edit is one of the very few mods that actually works with the same jar file on both Forge and Fabric. Way to go, World Edit. However, we're going to be using Forge today, but you can also use Fabric. The process is similar, and you can check out the eye at the top of your screen on how to install Fabric mods if you'd rather use World Edit with that mod loader. Nevertheless, once you're here, click on this orange download button to the right of World Edit. After a few seconds, the download will start, and World Edit will be, uh, will be downloaded. There you go. However, you might need to keep or save the file depending on your browser. For whatever reason, it's not been asking me to keep jar files recently. Let me know in the comments if you've had the same experience. However, you may need to keep this in the bottom left of Google Chrome. I promise it's safe. Well, it has been downloaded by 17 million people. On top of that, you might need to save this in the center of your screen if you are on Mozilla Firefox, so keep it or save it depending on your browser. And we aren't done completely yet. We still need to download Forge. As I said, that's the mod loader we're going to be using here today. But at the top of your screen if you'd rather use Fabric. However, let's go ahead and get Forge. To do this, you want to go to the third link down below. That's going to take you here. This is our in-depth guide for downloading and installing Forge. We're going to be going over the basics in this video, but some stuff we might not cover and might only be in our dedicated video. What I mean by that is issues. If you have any problems or something like that with Forge, go to this tutorial first because it's probably got it fixed for you. Nevertheless, once you're here, click on this green Download Forge button to be taken off to Forge's official website. Now, as you can see here, we do have MC 1.18.1 automatically selected, but if yours isn't selected, well, here's what you do. Come over here to the left hand side, click on the plus 1.18, and then select 1.18.1. Then MC 1.18.1 will appear here, where you can come under download latest and click on installer. After a few seconds, it will take us off to add focus. Or stop! Don't click anything in your page whatsoever. Just put your hands up in the air and wave them like you just don't care because you don't need to click on anything at all on this page. Just sit and wait for about 10 seconds. Then, after 10 seconds, click the red skip button in the top right. So all you want to do on this page is click the red skip button that appears after about 10 seconds in the top right. Then in the bottom left on Google Chrome, you'll have Forge download. Again, you may need to keep this file. It's 100% safe to do so as long as Forge is in the title, which it is for us. However, if you're on Mozilla Firefox, it's a similar process, except you might be saving it in the center of your screen. Nevertheless, though, we can now minimize our browser, and we need to find these files. How do we do that? Well, click the little Windows icon to the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen, but click on that little Windows icon in the top bottom left of your screen. Or if you're on Windows 11, it might be in the center of your screen. But click on that Windows icon, and then type in Downloads. Go to the Downloads file folder here, and in here you'll find Forge and World Edit. Drag these to your desktop just for ease of use. Now, if your jar files don't look like mine, like these files don't look like these Coffee Cup logos, don't worry, just keep watching. We're going to show you how to fix that. However, let's see if we can open up Forge first. Go ahead and right-click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. Now, for me, Forge is going to open, but for you, it might not, even if you have Java. That's because Java 17 is now required for Minecraft mods, and World Edit forwards their Minecraft mods, so we need Java 17. Luckily, in the description down below, we have an in-depth guide, video, and text on how to download and install Java 17. Go through this, get Java 17 installed, and then you should be able to open up Forge. However, your logos may still look a bit weird, meaning they might still look like, you know, an Internet Explorer file, a WinRAR file, something like that. If that's the case, you need to run the jar fix. This is going to take those jar files and link them back to Java and make them work properly, but you only run the jar fix after getting Java. Step one, get Java. Always get Java if you can't open Forge or if your logos are weird. Two, 
run the jar fix if you still need it because you can't open Forge. Nevertheless, we can minimize this and now finally right click on Forge, click on open with, click on Java and click OK. This is going to open up the mod system install for Forge where all we need to do is click on install client and click OK. This is going to go through, download, do everything that it needs to do to get Forge installed in Minecraft 1.18.1 and once Forge is installed, it's easy to install world edit. So as you can see here, it is kind of freezing. It is kind of stopping. If that happens, that's okay. And this should work. If it doesn't, you just need to go play Minecraft 1.18.1 with no mods, no anything, just vanilla. Come back and then this will work. Now let's go ahead and click OK here. Close out of that and you're good to go. Now we need to get World Edit installed. By the way, you can remove Forge from your desktop. You don't need it anymore. We just need World Edit. So to do this, we want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. And before you go hitting play, we need to make sure that the Forge profile is selected. So as we can see here, after one second, there we go. Forge is selected. So Forge is right here. It's selected. It's good to go. However, if it's not here for you, right, you can't click this little arrow and select Forge, or if it doesn't say 1.18.1 under Forge, what do you do? First things first, come up to installations right up here at the top, and then make sure this modded button selected. As you can see, we deselected it. Forge went away. Forge isn't there anymore. So go ahead and click on modded, and there's Forge. We can click play. We're good to go. However, if you still don't have Forge, or if you do, and the version under it doesn't say 1.18.1, here's what you do. Go ahead and click on the new installation button, and then you can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com, because that's our own incredible 1.18.1 grief protected survival and skyblock server. Come play with us. It's absolutely incredible. Now, let's just go ahead and click on this version drop down box here, and we want to select release. 1.18.1-forge right there, at least 1.18.1-forge, right like so. Mine's up here towards the top. Yours may need to scroll down a little bit, but mine is right here. Select it, and you're good to go. Now we want to go ahead and change our resolution. You don't have to do this, but I'm doing it because I want you to be able to see once we get in game. Now we've got our resolution set here. We can click create. The most important part of this, though, is that it says release 1.18.1-forge here. Click the green create button in the bottom right, and we now have a play.breakdowncraft.com profile with 1.18.1-forge on it. Hover over this, click the green play button, confirm you're playing mod in Minecraft by clicking this button, and click play again. Now, Minecraft is going to open up with Forge, and guess what? The hard part's done. At this point, it's so easy to install World Edit. It's going to blow your mind how easy it is once you've got Forge. The hard part is getting Forge. It's getting that mod loader. Once you got that mod loader, installing the mods is pretty simple, which is kind of the point of having a mod loader. Otherwise, it would be, you know, kind of weird to be... Easy to get the mod loader, but then hard to install the mods. Doesn't make sense. It's hard to get the mod loader, easy to install the mods. So I'm going to go ahead and do a quick jump cut. I'll meet you on the main menu. Here we are on the Minecraft main menu. Now, Forge is in beta, so if you do have any issues, that might be why. Just keep that in mind. Make sure Forge stays up to date, all that stuff. However, once you're here, we want to go ahead and click on the Mods button right from the main menu. So click on the Mods button, and then we want to click on Open Mods folder in the bottom left. Again, from the main menu, click on Mods, and then click on Open Mods folder in the bottom left. When we click on that, it's going to open up our Mods folder right like so. Then all we need to do is drag and drop World Edit from our desktop into our Mods folder. Boom, World Edit is installed. But it's not going to be in game until we click Done at the bottom and then Quit. Then we want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher again, right? And from there, we want to make sure that Forge profile is selected, either the one that was there automatically or the one we created. Either one will work as long as it says 1.18.1-Forge under it. Then go ahead and click Play. Now, Minecraft 1.18.1 is going to open up with the World Edit mod installed. It's that simple. It's that easy. And honestly, World Edit is an amazing mod to have. If you ask me, it is one of the top five Minecraft mods out there. Now, one thing I do want to mention is that uh, it's very normal if it takes a long time for Minecraft to open up when you have a mod installed, even one mod like World Edit, right? So keep that in mind, and that's kind of that. It's going to take it a minute. Just let it. Just sit here, wait. Eventually, it will open, and here we are in Minecraft. If you look on mods, there's World Edit looking good. We can then go ahead and jump into a single-player world. We'll just jump into this one real fast, and I'm going to show you World Edit works. It works really well. <laughs> so let me go ahead and load into this world. No reason for you to sit and watch this. I'll see you once we're in game. So here we are in game. We can then go slash slash wand and get a world edit wand. Right there it is. From here, we can go ahead and do some crazy stuff. What's great about world edit is you can kind of do anything you want with it as far as copying and pasting and replacing and all that stuff. And uh, sometimes it's fun to uh, do some crazy stuff. So let's come over here and we'll replace, uh, let's see, the grass we'll, on top, we'll do diamond. So we'll slash slash replace all of the grass blocks with diamond block. Bam. Then, uh, I, don't, I don't like this dirt here. Let's go ahead and make the dirt gold. So let's go ahead and change that from dirt to gold blocks. Bam. There we go. And the sand, I'm thinking, should be emerald. 
go ahead and do sand, and then we'll do emerald blocks. There you go. So as you can see, very, very easy to replace. You can also copy and paste things, right? So we can do slash slash copy, and then uh, come up here. Um, it's probably gonna, it's gonna be funny. Is this gonna like paste right on top of this? There we go, right? We've copy and pasted what was down there, but uh, I don't know, that doesn't look too great, does it? I don't like it. So we can do slash slash undo and make it go away. Awesome stuff there. That is kind of just a simple little look at how awesome and all the power of world edit. There's even brushes, by the way, that allow you to kind of paint the world and build crazy stuff. And you can copy and paste anything. You can use schematics with world edit. It's all possible. Nevertheless, though, that is how to get it in Minecraft single player. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. And be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more incredible Minecraft content. Also, you can play with us on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com. We have amazing survival, custom skyblock, You'll love it. The IP is in the comments. Nevertheless, though, thanks so much for watching. My name is Nick, and I'm out. Peace.